All right, the Arnold is now complete. We're at Muscle Works in Orpington. Oh, yeah. I'm fully carved up because I'm bulking, so I think this might be the only time we'll be able to lift comparable weights. <laughs> oh, you have fun either way, man. You know, yeah. go over stage yesterday, I and mean, you know, my man's in town, so I thought, you know, I'm busy the time to show him what we do. So, we're gonna get some nice, good chest work. I'll tell you, we're gonna get some yeah. nice work. Just gonna throw some stuff around. Oh, yeah. So, let's get this working, man. Let's do what we do. We're in the UK, and they got dumbbells that's in pounds. When do we do pounds in the UK? Only at this gym. Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do math and shit. Dude, I'm using kilos, man. <laughs> First off, man, always get nice and warmed up, get that joints in before we are start working. I've spent the last how many weeks just training and not talking. So today, but first, I'm giving you guys a brief insight into what chest workout looks like. One twenties is not the first set. I've been kind of warming up a little bit already. See any 140s around? Wanna... We got some 200s. That's a little heavy. 200s is a touch heavy. 160 is a little too steep. I wanna, we gotta ease into it. Where are these things? Concerned too much about lifting so heavy that you're not actually pushing your chest out of it. You're not using the, the most full capacity of it. You try to build chest or you try to be strong? Hmm? Which one? Yeah, think about it. You're lifting a lot heavier weight in your second set than you should do. When you're pulling that out so much and you're constantly just moving a heavy, heavy weight, you have more risk, especially doing free weight number to cause an injury instead of actually bringing it down and slowing it down. But you actually get your massive when you actually lift it. And I can easy and get that motion on the chest and coming down through the brain and getting that contraction in. You found it out and you will cause injury. But the sun.
What do you think the limit? What do you think the limit is on necessary weight? Because like, I don't really think I ever need to do like 200s or anything like that. Just but I do think the mechanical tension is a factor. That's the biggest factor. Though. Because remember, I say people in the body have no idea what weight you're lifting. You only know the resistance you're putting through it. When you try to focus more on the numbers, how much you can lift, you lose the intention of you focus on trying to move the weight so much. You lose the actual idea of what you're actually trying to do. The idea is you're trying to build this, or you're trying to build a muscle. The muscle doesn't care about the weight, it's just as much tension you put it through. When you can contract it as tight as you can without resistance and release it and contract it again, that pushes blood flow and that breaks down the muscle fibers in it and it causes growth. When you pound it out with just tension, that's the time of the tension is so small and you just kind of pound it out. It's more cardio, it's just you pound out heavy weight. But when you actually contract and break down the muscle fiber, it open it up. Sure. That's what causes growth. So when I'm saying that, not because I don't know you're freaking strong enough to lift 200. That's an idea. Remember, it's one thing to power lift, it's another thing to body build. Mm. If you're trying, your idea is I want to build muscle, you got to put everything towards that alone. So contracting this and trying to make this open, you got to make sure that every movement you make, from the point you up here to the point down here, nothing but this takes attention. You try to limit the tension on the front delts, and the shoulders, everything else, you want to make sure this mm. takes everything. The more you can do that with every movement, and don't have no waste of the work, the more growth you're going to be with. So what I'm saying, bring the weight down so you can really yeah. try to I'll try to lighten this one. Let's see what kind of set I can get with the hundreds instead of the 150s. I tell you what, I'm still an ego lifter at heart, so this is uh, this is hard for me to hear. I want to try something. When you go up and do it, oh yeah, one thing you can, I want you to try to squeeze my fingers as much as you can. Okay? Now, imagine when you lift this, squeeze it, there we go. Right here, squeeze it, there you go, that's better. Squeeze it, nice, that's better. Contraction, squeeze it, there you go. And again, there, that is beautiful. Again, nice. And again, brilliant. That's work. Again, squeeze. And again, one more, one more. Squeeze. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. It's beautiful. That's better. That's better. Yeah. Like That's it. what we're talking about. That's better. That good. How many more do you think of here? That's was a lot better. That was a lot better. You see, so now you're coming from track and thinking about like, instead of just moving that plate up, again, that's part of it. Because what happens is happening, you gotta notice, some people the same chest. There hurts more than here. Because it's like, you push the plate out, but you're not thinking about that. Pushing, and I would say, if you put your hand here, can you squeeze your finger with your pecs? Yeah. If you get that contraction every time, that's the maximum protection you get. When you open it up, and you try to squeeze it as much as you can. When you think about that, and you realize you have to squeeze so much, you realize you don't actually need that much weight to actually feel that percent first place. Yeah. And that way you avoid ever failing out, losing the and ripping it back. Mm. Okay? But that was a lot, a lot, a lot better. Many questions to be answered. How much weight is really necessary? I'm inclined to believe him. I mean, we should just get a good look at the the, at the two of us. I think a little more thought went into that. One of the reasons I like to use that, I always start to like start with some big compound movement to hit the whole chest, and then I start breaking them into a pattern. And what I do is I throw it also when I try my chest, I always do an incline. Because if you know most people, when they do the chest, the most part of always seem to be lacking of a chest. Every time you do like a tricep push down, or anything. You, you can use your lower chest. Yeah. Up so never. never. So I tend to try to, that video's idea, try to keep the focus mainly on up because that's, you're going to get the rest of it anyway. But most of the time, that's part I saw always still be lacking. Okay? Get that parcel shelf more on the way you can rest the top on it. Exactly. Oh, we don't want it.
So I just kind of overarching style wise. I'm bringing you the chest though? Well, I just mean like in general. Yeah. Usually I like saving the squeezing kind of burning sets mm -hmm. towards the end of the lift. Because I like the fact of physically doing as much you know, as possible in the beginning. But you're saying mm -hmm. I may have better luck or guaranteed lower risk of injury yeah. making more sets like that there we go. throughout the workout. Throughout the workout. Like that more? I know some people they like the idea of okay, you save it all for this one final big push, the last two sets or everything else. But I say this, like, the final thing is like this, every single movement, we try to capitalize on everything. From the minute, even the warm-up, you try to push below, that area of warm -up. That muscle you're about to train. Mm. All the way through to where the you get to the top of it and you really push it. Knowing that your energy levels can get a lot harder when you have to lift and push the same way from the start to the end. You don't want to wait to the end, but you put in more opportunity to actually cause growth in the muscle. And so it's kind of wasted for that one, two hits at the top bottom of it because what about if you miss that mm. in that last one? What about if you miss time the weight and you don't quite feel right and you need to quite get it right? Mm. Do you then pack it up and go, well, that's my thing, I'm going to move on the next one? Or do you want to capitalize on building up, almost like you build up the template for that one big hit but you're making every one out of it before that count. Mm. So that's where I kind of look at it in terms of every moment, every worker, every set, Everywhere, they count for what it is. And if it's doing and squeezing that much, it just goes more for you to get off So it's yeah. really just like this, the feeling at the end of it. Yeah. 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 Nice. And again. Squeeze. There we go. That's all this can. Squeeze it. There we go. Right. And again. There you go. One more. Yep. There it is. All right. What I have to do is, you see when you do all that, all the squeezing? When you've done that first, and then now then you want to kill it, rack that shit up, and then blow it up. Sure. But at the end of the day, if you worry about the maximum, the first few already of body speed, now the muscle is completely tired. So when it's time for you to get here and you go down, be set, you're doing it at the most, literally at the most, after killing yourself, killing yourself at the most, you to say you can. But now when you actually go for it, you just beast it out for that last one. Yep, come on, again, again. Seven, three more, three more, three more, come on. Eight, come on, two more. Come on, yep, one more, come on now, one more. Push it, everything, everything, come on. Yes, nice. Oh, really? I've been working on pulling my shoulders back. As you do, I'm better than last time we did this. You're a lot better now. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you see the work? Especially with like the hammer strength press over there. Yeah. Something about the incline, I always hunch over. Yeah. But this, like this, because you almost supposed to push your back, back against the paddle really low, open that toe, chest up, and then I'll just use only that. And you've got to find like, you find now, most of the time when you do that, you feel more your chest or you feel less of your front delts yeah. when you do it, right? I remember when I first started, when I was training up, like, I used to do chest and I think, man, I killed it. When I go up the next day, my front delt is still as hell. But my chest is like, eh, it's high. And you, you know, this is one thing you call it on using your supporting muscles to do that. And that's the muscle that's supposed to work. It's like, ah, it gets a little bit of it. You know? 
But yeah, I've been working that out a little. Yeah, I can see it, man. I've uh, I'm kind of staying away from incline barbell now because it's it must just be like, tight. I got to stretch out. Well, but even when I really back. like, you don't want to go lighter and try to pull it back. Yeah, it's still time. Well, you find it. Dumbbells a little better for me. And a part of me going, yeah, probably even time for one more. So, we get the blue out of it. So, same, same way, at the maximum point of squeezing it. Put the first one in, drop it, get straight into the other one. And try to get as close to 10 as you can. Well, by 90% of that way, you do the first one. You hit failure, that's cool. You make it, even better. Yeah? This one, 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 this
You feel that burning your chest where you can feel this bad out. Yeah. So what happens is it's a lot less weight when you do press and rest. But the pain and the tension is intense. But yeah, the chance of injury now. That's exactly. There we go. Because you're literally doing a way where at any point you just get yeah, there you go. You have that freedom, you don't have that feel. Pushing the dumbbells in this, kind of bring down. So how can you do for it? You don't think about it, it's movement. Mm. You end up doing it, you end up doing it. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. Decks and everything else, even though the allocated hand is right here, I find like holding it almost up here just puts me in a perfect position to engage my chest better. So, it might be the machine is set up that way, guys. Like, we'll hear, but we all got different body types, man. So, we just find that we can try something better if we just need to move our hands or move in the position of this, where we are a little bit different and we just feel the contraction better. <coughs> Chest up that chin. Get your chest up your chin. Raise that chin. So, all the way up. There we go. There we go. That's it. There we go. Honey. Yep. 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 Oh. Alright. One more. One more. Get that chest up that chin. Up, up, up. Up. There we go. That's not beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see. Let's go find this. Should we come chest fly? Something there. You see, when the weight gets heavier, you get that resistance, get harder. Yeah. What people tend to do is, they tend to try to come over themselves. So I always say, like, always got to imagine is, get the chin up and try to get that top of chest to hit your chin. If you keep it up like that, every single time, you take that out of it. And that has to do the work. And even when you get tired and you feel like, man, I got to do this to bring it together. Remember, you don't have to bring it in. Just keep imagining, I want that chest to hit my chin. Yeah. And even though I get this far from it, it's a lot better than doing this and getting all the way there. Yeah. I uh, sometimes I do cable flies. Yeah. Kind of downward. Yeah. Because I, even when you get tired, you're, you're, you're from the upside. They're so high up yeah. compared to movement. Yep. I mean, I super Yeah. So that's what I mean. I love cable flies. But once you get this, is easy to sort of master that movement there. Well, we pretty much can do cable flies and you have to sort of master that. You can have more of that. A lot more. And people try to keep it up and do that. You know? I'm excited to pose down with this pop. Yeah, we're definitely getting close to the end. Yeah. 
Come on, touch it. Oh yeah, come on. Make it light. Come on, if you want. Same thing. So first one in, failure. If you get to 10, great. If you don't make it, no bad. Drop it out again. Same thing. Three times. All hot. Come on, come on, come on. 
Yeah, there you go. Come on. I got you. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Come on. You got yourself. You got yourself. You got it. Finish it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. That's my man. There we go. Great job. I feel pretty pumped. That was good. There's something about this, the assisted partials. I feel like I can't move the weight at all. There's a reason why we call brothers and iron. And because we just big dudes just jack it up. This moment when you know you're giving everything you have and you got nothing left, and you have somebody right there to say, come on, man, and put you through just that little bit more so you get what you want. And that's why we brothers and iron, man. That's where it comes from. Everybody miss, people miss that. They don't understand what that means. If you train like that with someone every day and they put you through all that hell and they're always there to help you out when you both need it, there's a bond that comes from that and this is what it's all about. So, great work. Yeah, sweet. Let's, uh, let's find some good lighting. side chairs. Automatically by contracting your chest, it almost brings you to do this. Yeah. But instead, what you're trying to do is to make yeah, okay. contract muscle base open up, okay? And then on that line. Open up there. There you go. Up that, that's a lot better. So now you're a lot more bigger. And okay. When you go in and do this, it takes away the whole point of it, right? There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Like this. Not too much, just there. Down, just one more top. You get that? You see that right there? And then, get over these. Squeeze them. You see that? Nice. But at the same time, you want to be able to bring that, but don't let it. You remember, every time you contract muscle, it pulls you in. You want to counter right that, but don't let it pull you in. You want to make sure it stays up. That's it. Great job right there. level posing coaching complete. So now I gotta eat something, I'm starving. It's quick and easy to run the there you go. Uh, please don't film me, I feel like shit. <laughs> Get loads of footage of him and we'll tell the world. He's good. Or a hat. No, but you know what? Now people will see this and now he's committed. You want my hat? It's sweaty bro, I trained in it. You don't want his hat. There's probably some spares behind the counter. Woolly hats. You should be able to hear quite a lot of what we say. You guys probably aren't going to hear anything we say. But, uh, <laughs> so, should we talk into the mic or not? You just come <laughs> lean in. These guys can't find it. Okay, okay. Let us have some gym speakers. All right. Can we roll now?
Do whatever you want. Good. All right, so we're at uh, Muscle Works Wilkington. This is a live bodybuilding bollocks. Oh, it's been a Bodybuilding bollocks. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Great. That's your preference. Yes. Right, so everybody has their own numbers. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, you know, like, I couldn't let something block something that could potentially be the best thing ever just because I can't let go of a little bit of the past. That's me. Because if I cared about the past all the time, I'd think to myself, why don't you for a shit ten times a day and to wipe her ass? If I thought about the shit that was on her ass all day, I wouldn't be able to fucking deliver it. That's a really bad one. That's a really bad one. That's not a bad one. The shit exists. The shit exists. It's there every day. I don't think about it. All right. It's Monday. We just got finished doing the live podcast at Muscle Works Orpington. Thank you to John for having us here. Uh, Samson and Sam trained together. I am sick as hell, so I apologize to anybody who watched the podcast, so I was coughing my ass off. But um, I had to get down here. It was a great, great time. We had fun. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for um, checking out all the Arnold UK videos. Uh, I think we have one more tomorrow, Alex. And then that'll be the trip. Until next year. Thank you, everybody, for watching.